Six. 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 Six.
I can see it growing smaller in your eyes. Of course not. How are you, Luna? Very well. Got bitten by a garden gnome only moments ago. <sighs> gnome saliva is very beneficial. Xenophilius love good. We live just over the head. Pleasure to meet you, sir. I trust you now, Mr. Potter, that we at the Quibbler and like those toadies at the Daily Prophet fully supported Dumbledore in his lifetime and in his death support you just as fully. Thank you. Come, Daddy. Harry doesn't want to talk to us right now. He's just too polite to say so. Harry Potter. Excuse me, sir. May I sit down? Mr. Potter, by all means. Here. Yeah. <laughs> I found what you wrote in the Daily Prophet really moving. You obviously knew Dumbledore well. Well, I certainly knew him the longest. That is, if we don't count his brother Aberforth, and somehow people never do seem to count Aberforth. I didn't even know he had a brother. Ah, well, Dumbledore was always very private, even as a boy. Don't despair, Elpius. I'm told he's been thoroughly unriddled by Rita Skeeter in 800 pages, no less. Word has it that someone talked to her, someone who knew the Dumbledore family well. Both you and I know who that is, Elphius. A monstrous betrayal. Uh, who, who are we talking about? Bathilda Backshot. Who? My God, boy, she's only the most celebrated magical historian of the last century. She was as close to the Dumbledores as anyone. Oh, I'm sure Rita Skeeter thought it well worth a trip to Godric's Hollow to take a peek into that old bird's rattled cage. Godric's Hollow? Bethilda Bagshot lives at Godric's Hollow. Well, that's where she first met Dumbledore. You don't mean to say he lived there too? The family moved there after his father killed those three muggles. It was quite the scandal. Honestly, my boy, are you sure you knew him at all? The Ministry has fallen. The Minister of Magic is dead. Nice meeting you, Mr. Robert. Get in! Go! Go! Where are we? Shaftesbury Avenue. I used to come to the theatre here with Mum and Dad. Don't know why I thought of it, just popped into my head. This way. Needs to change. Oh, already. Undetectable extension charm. You're amazing, you are. Always a total surprise. Ah, that'll be the books. What about all the people at the wedding? Do you think we should go back? We're after you, mate. We put everyone in danger by going back. One's right. <clears throat> Coffee? A cappuccino, please. Mm. You? What she said. Same. So where do we go from here? Leaky cauldron? too dangerous. If Voldemort really has taken over the Ministry, then none of your places are safe. Everyone from the wedding will have gone underground, into hiding. God, my rucksack hat with all my things. I've left it at the burrow. You're joking? I I've had all the essentials packed for days, just in case. By the way, these jeans, not my favourite. <laughs> Lock the door and get the lights. This one's name's Raoul. He was on the astronomy tower the night Snape killed Dumbledore. This is Dollarhoff. I recognize him from the wanted posters. So, what are we gonna do with you, eh? You'd kill us if it was turned around, wouldn't you? If we kill them, they'll know we were here. Mom. Suppose you did Mad Eye. How would you feel then? It's better we wipe their memories. You're the boss. Hermione, you're the best of spells. Obliviate. How is it then you were there? Maybe you still have the trace on you? Can't be. Trace breaks are 17. It's wisdom law. <sighs> what? You didn't celebrate your birthday, Harry. Ginny and I, 
We prepared a cake. We're going to bring it out at the end of the wedding. Hermione, honestly, I appreciate the thought, but really, given the fact that we were almost killed by a couple of Death Eaters a few minutes ago? Right. Perspective. We need to get off the streets, get somewhere safe.